um, welcome. Uh, what a what a great day uh, for for our university, our football program, uh, the University of Memphis athletics program, and and the city of Memphis. Uh, today is about an investment in the university, an investment in our football program, and an investment in our city. Uh, we're so thankful uh, to our, our partners uh, at the city of Memphis. Uh, Mayor Young was so kind uh, to come here today. He's played a big role in, in, in us getting to today. Uh, and the transfer of the stadium uh, to the university, which you all know is uh, uh, in, in process and, and nearing completion. Um, we also thank our, our partners at Simmons Bank. Uh, see a number of those folks here today. And, um, and, and thankful to uh, the AutoZone Liberty Bowl, Southern Heritage Classic, USFL, uh, who, who've also uh, made, made an investment by, by playing uh, their games here at Simmons Bank Liberty Stadium. So a lot to be excited about today. Uh, and, and today is the, the start of, of phase two. As you all know, uh, we've been making efforts to, to get to this point from a fundraising standpoint. Uh, the, the transformational gift from the Fred Smith family and dozens of other donors has led us to this place where um, we're just under $75 million in commitments uh, to, to this project. And, and so thankful to the Fred Smith family uh, for really jump-starting uh, this project and making it uh, a reality for us. So today, as, as we uh, start uh, demolition, it'll be about a three-week process uh, that, that will take place to bring down the, the, the west side of Simmons Bank Liberty Stadium, leaving uh, the, the bottom 25 rows of chairbacks, which will still be in use uh, throughout uh, this season and next. And uh, it's going to create quite a, quite, a bit of, uh, quite a bit of disturbance uh, in this area, as you can see with all this heavy machinery. Um, 25,000 tons of concrete will come down uh, as, as a part of this demolition. And uh, happy to tell you that 18,000 pounds uh, or tons, I'm sorry, of, of concrete will be recycled uh, throughout this, this process. In addition to that, in case you were uh, curious, uh, that 25,000 tons of, of concrete is the equivalent of 116,000 tigers. So if you had 116,000 tigers here, that's how much weight and concrete that, that we will have. So, uh, you know, again, just a, just a, a great, exciting day. You know, uh, this, is a, this is a big, big part of, of our football program from the sense of this is an investment in our home. And the home field advantage is such a big part of, of our success here, especially over the last 10 years. We're one of only six programs in the country that have won 56 or more games in the last 10 years at home. So investing in our, in our home is, is a big part of our success going forward. And, and so uh, to, to wrap it up, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, use this as an opportunity to, to, to talk about uh, how fans can invest in our program. And you can do that by purchasing season tickets uh, for, for the upcoming season. Happy to say that 90% of our tickets uh, so far have been renewed from last year. We've sold over 1,000 new season tickets going into this year. So uh, with the excitement that Coach Silverfield uh, and his staff and student athletes have, have built around the program, uh, especially going into this year with, with high expectations, with a lower seating capacity uh, than we would normally have. We're really wanting to, to, to press on, on the city of Memphis to, to, to jump in now and buy those tickets, uh, especially with that first home game on August 31st at 6 o'clock versus uh, North Alabama. That'll be our 901 game, where we'll be celebrating all, all that is great about Memphis. So lots of opportunities to buy, lots of packages, not necessarily just season passes, but uh, dynamic passes where you, you get to uh, sit in a different seat depending on, on where, uh, where you're assigned each game. We also have single game ticket uh, availability, parking passes included in that. So trying to do everything we can to make the experience as, as easy as possible uh, to get folks here to Simmons Bank Liberty Stadium uh, for, for this season. So with that, unless the mayor has anything that he would like to say, we'll take some questions. Well, I just want to say uh, congratulations to the university for uh, starting this project. This has been uh, an effort that 
Many parties have played a role in the state of Tennessee, the city of Memphis, University of Memphis, uh, the Smith family, and I'm sure there are many others uh, that I neglected to name, but it takes partnership to advance our community, and that's exactly what you see happening here today, so we're excited to be a part of it. Thank you. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, happy to answer any questions you all have. Hey, Jeff, can you walk us through the timeline? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, thanks, Brandon. Good question. Not even a media member. He's asking questions. Um, so the, the demolition process will take uh, about three weeks. Uh, it'll create uh, quite a bit of rubble, as, as we uh, had talked about. And they'll start to, to move uh, that concrete out of out of this area over about the next six weeks. So when, when fans come on August 31st, uh, they will see uh, the vast majority of the west side uh, no longer here. Uh, and they'll see trucks probably moving moving rubble out, not on that particular day, but, but leading up to that day. Uh, we're, we're very thankful to have uh, a great team of, of architects and, and general contractors uh, that have done this at, at other venues across the country. So we're going to do everything possible to make the experience a, a smooth one uh, for our fans when, when, they, when they come to that first home game and each, each game afterwards. Now beyond that, uh, construction will begin this fall on the, uh, the, the, the build out of that, of that west side, creating a large party deck and premium uh, tower. Uh, that will be about a two-year process and so uh, we're still on track for completion in the summer of 2026 uh, having uh, phase two being ready to go uh, by the 2026 season any other questions Yeah, we, we will be constantly working with our, our contractors to, uh, when we're able, uh, add more seats back in. We do anticipate for the, the AutoZone Liberty Bowl, uh, the, the capacity will remain in the, in the low uh, 30,000s for that, that particular game. You know, we, and, and we appreciate and understand uh, the, the sacrifices that we're, we're going to all have to make over, over the next couple of years with, with less capacity, uh, certainly not not ideal, but we'll be building toward um, ultimately when phase three is complete, uh, back to that 50,000 number is, is where we're headed. I think I heard, I think I heard you give a, a fundraising update, but I'm not sure I heard exactly what you said. Yeah, absolutely. So in total commitments fundraising wise, uh, we're just under 75 million in, in total commitments. Uh, our ultimate goal to get phase three complete is to reach that $100 million mark. So. Uh, we're working diligently to, to get to that place. That's a pretty, let's see, at last check it was, what, I don't remember what exactly it was, but it already up significantly from the last year. Yeah, I mean, I would say, you know, the summer's been, been good uh, for us, and, you know, our our, our donors and, and supporters have realized what what an important project this is, uh, not only for the university but for the entire city, and have really stepped up uh, to, to to invest in this in this particular project. So um, we, we've had a good summer from a fundraising standpoint, but um, as we know, we're only as good as the as the next uh, dollar that, that we can bring into the project. And so uh, we're working hard to to get out there and and, and complete the fundraising effort. You know, I, I, I do think that, uh, that the, the country is taking notice. You know, this was this project was uh, certainly about an investment and all those things that I talked about, but it was also to show a commitment. It was showed a, a commitment to, uh, to to the university and to the football program and to its future. And so uh, we're excited that that uh, others have, have absolutely taken notice of, of that. I mean, how could you not? Uh, a two hundred million dollar plus. Um, investment in a in a football facility is not something you see every day, and so uh, you know we're very fortunate to, to be in this position. Jeff, is that with, with, the, uh, with the the money coming in? Are you guys ahead of your your original plan, or is it right on target? Yeah, I would say I would say we're we're right on schedule. You know, our our, our goal all along has been to uh, to get the 100 million in commitments. Uh, by the end of this calendar year, and, and we're we're on track to do that uh, currently, and so uh, we feel we're we're right on track. Any other questions? All right. Yeah.
Thank you all so much.